What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to the channel, man. You guys know what we do, man. But if you don't, if you're new here, um, we break down scary and creepy videos, man, on the net, from the web, to TikTok videos, to IG videos, YouTube videos, anything we're usually unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. Find this video for you guys today, man. You guys know we seek the truth. Let's check it out. Blood-curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 27. When 14-year-old George Stinney was executed via electric chair, he was too short for the chair, so he used his Bible as a booster seat. He was later found out to be innocent. In the 1600s, Athanasius Kircher invented a musical instrument made out of cats. He would place them in a row according to the tone of their voice, stretching their tails under a keyboard made out of sharp nails. Texas had absolutely no regulations on natural gas until 1937, when a school blew up, killing 295 students and teachers. No one was held responsible, and the event was so bad that even Hitler sent a letter of condolence. That one is freaking chill spawning, bro. And you, you, you know why, man. It's that bad that freaking Hitler even sent an message to the school? Ooh, and the first one, man, that freaking little boy, man. They freaking found Ernest, but they said he used his Bible, bro, to get freaking shocked. Like I said, the freaking the world was even cra crazier and freaking back in the day in the old times, too, bro. I'm going to show y'all sometimes nothing freaking never changes, bro. Plus, down below, man, about those chilling facts. Most Scary Urban Legends, Part 4. This is Kuchisaki Ona. This is the woman who died and came back as an evil spirit. This is her story. Mm. She used to be the most beautiful woman in her town, and every single man wanted her. But she picked a very skilled samurai. Later, he had to go to war, and she became very lonely. She then fell in love with another man, mm. because she was tired of waiting for her husband to come home. Her husband then came home, he was so enraged he killed the man she was with, and slit her mouth with his sword, so she could never be beautiful again. She then bled out and died. Now her spirit has come back for revenge. She wears a mask to cover her scars. She wanders across the street looking for victims. She then says to them, am I beautiful? If you say yes, she then takes off her mask and says, am I beautiful again? If the person gets scared or screams or says no, she will get a very big pair of scissors and cut your face just like hers. But if you say yes both times with no fear, she will leave you alone. Hmm. Is that true? Imagine meeting a plastic surgeon who promises to give you the perfect body by performing multiple surgeries on you. But when you tell him the price of the surgeries are too high, he says he doesn't want your money. Instead, he wants to take your organs as payment. He clarifies he'll only remove your non-essential organs. But you're starting to feel trapped, realizing you don't actually know much about this surgeon. And you're alone in his private plastic surgery clinic. So you ask to use the bathroom trying to get out of the situation. Mm. And he tells you it's the room down the hall to your right. But when you enter that room, you see that it's not the bathroom, but a surgery room. The door locks by itself, and a mysterious gas starts filling up the room, making you feel dizzy. You pass out on the floor of the surgery room and wake up on the bed, as the surgeon is already operating on you. So what will happen mm. once the surgery is over? This short film is called Plastic, and I thought especially the ending was very unique and surreal. But let me know what you thought and follow for more. That's freaking crazy, bro. You know, that's just like, a, I guess, a short story, but... Imagine that freaking even happening to you, bro. Like I said, I don't want your money. I want your non-essential organs. Could not rock with that, bro. Can't. That's that's freaking too crazy, bro. I want to remember if people actually had the option to do that. I wonder how many people would say yes because, you know, nowadays, man, people, they want to, like I said, they want to look like how they want to look like and they'll pay any price, bro, to see that happen. Tell me, tell me down below, man. How how many people do you think will actually say yes to that? No, 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 silly, to try it. No, no, no. But it exploded, and they were both found dead. I only just learned about the Stephen Hawking cheating on his wives scandal, and I'm genuinely speechless. This man may have been bound to a wheelchair, unable to speak or move, but bro's love life 
was active. He married his first wife, Jane, in 1965, when they were both in their early 20s. They then remained married for 25 years while Jane fed him, dressed him, bathed him, and sat with him through his many hospital visits and near-death experiences. That was until he fell for his carer, Elaine, who was also married at the time. Stephen then divorced Jane and remarried Elaine in 1995. He remained married to Elaine until, yet again, he fell for another one of his carers. This time, his new carer, Diana, was 39 years younger than him. His marriage with Elaine ended in 2006, and while he did get engaged to Diana, he worried another marriage would cause problems with his three children, so he ended up backing out. The legend of... The bunny... That's crazy, bro. Stephen Hawking, bro. He had a raise, bro. He kept falling for his caregivers, man. That's the first time I've ever heard of it. Like, what the hell? And yeah, guys, like, as you know, what's been going on now, how you guys, how they have this thing, he might be on the list. So that's kind of freaking crazy, man. Tell me what you guys think, bro. I guess of Stephen Hawking, man. <laughs> That's insane, but I never knew about that. Hey, man. The Bunny Man is a scary legend about an escaped mental patient who haunts a bridge in Clifton, Virginia. Mm. After the Civil War Fairfax County, Virginia became more populated and eventually an insane asylum was built there. No one wanted to live near the asylum, and because of the public outrage, the institution was shut down. The administration transferred the patients and in 1904 the process was completed. During the transfer, some of the patients escaped and hid in the surrounding woods and forests. These individuals were lost, delusional and dangerous. Most of them were found except Marcus Loster and Douglas Griffin. The local authorities found a trail they believed belonged to them littered with half-eaten, mutilated bunnies. The trail led deep into the woods to a tunnel bridge crossing a Y Creek. There they found Marcus hanging from the tunnel entrance. There was a note attached to his foot that said, You'll never find me no matter how hard you try. Sign, the Bunny Man. That tunnel has been called Bunny Man Bridge ever since. The legend says that if you walk all the way down the tunnel at around midnight, the Bunny Man will grab you and hang you from the entrance of the bridge. In 2001, after hearing the tale, six local students and a guide searched the area. They found mutilated bunny parts during their search and left the force after they heard noises and saw figures moving around in the woods. Freaking crazy, bro. They would try to some freaking prisons and they managed to let some escape. They said they never found that two man and one of them became the freaking bunny man, bro. Eating bunnies, bro. Hey, you know how bold it is to leave a note saying, like, no matter how hard you try, you can't find me, bro. It's freaking insane, man. Those freaking six kids, they did the smart move, man. And when they saw it, they said they saw figures of some in the woods, they left. Just like me, man, because I can't do that, bro. Crazy, bro. I know it's in Fairfax County, Virginia, too. I never heard about the bunny, man. Definitely got to do some more research into that, bro. The last one is crazy. This Uber driver thought he was dropping off an old lady, and so something else appeared in his car. Mm -hmm. The hell is that? It's like a spirit or something. The face seems to be a woman. With a droopy eye and another one closed. Would you rather live in this apartment for 50 bucks with all utilities included? Are those roaches? You're making break out. You're making break out. No. Or date the fourth person who appears when you click share and then more. This cop pulled over a woman and she strangely disappeared. Hey, how's it going? Speeding, wasn't I? Yeah, you can clearly move past that stop sign in front of the window. Mm. Alright, sit tight, Sarah. I'll be right back. Your registration is expired. Where did she what go? The... Sarah? 
this could get scary, so I want to see. Using only emojis or gifs, comment below what it would be like dating you. Before we get to the last scary thing, support this page by clicking the follow button for more interesting videos every day. Can someone tell me if this video is real or fake? Hey, that's me. Huh? Hey, you have to call off on that. What? What's wrong with you? See that last part, that's what freaking makes that video. I say that's freaking fake, bro. Because there's no way I freaking push him out of that. Well, it could be, it could be real, but I'm gonna have to call fake on that, man. Tell me in the comment section down below, guys. So, that's last part of the video. Is that real or fake? Unexplainable mysteries that nobody can solve. Mm. Many people consider forests to be strange and sometimes creepy, but over the last 10 years, there have been a lot of eerie, similar sightings in woods across the world. Man-made staircases in the middle of the woods leading to nothing have been spotted all across the globe. Some of them are very small with about four or five steps leading up from the ground, while others are very complicated and intricate. Mm. Many people claim that they've seen these staircases miles and miles deep inside of the woods, which begs the question, why are they there? Lots of people believe that these staircases are a form of art, but some believe that these staircases could actually be leading to something sinister. So what do you think? Are these staircases portals to another dimension, or are they just there for show? Hmm. That's freaking interesting, bro. You saying they showing up like all around the world too, man? But they are, bro. They would only be a couple, man. But they said like it was, it was popping up, man. So I don't think that's a coincidence, bro. It could be leading to something sinister, man. Cause like, bro, why are we building <laughs> stairs in the freaking woods, bro? Like, where is it leading to? That's the real question we need to be asking, bro. If it was art, I think you want to be pop up in like a few places. Not they say it was popping up like all around the world, all around the globe. Hmm. Is there something more to that, bro? Need to got sauce down for that one. On um, for that one, man. <sighs> Scary stuff, bro. This is why you should be scared of that one person you're talking to online that you're about to meet in real life. Blanca Arellano, mm. a 51-year-old Mexican woman, was looking for love. She met a Peruvian man named Juan Villafuerte on an online gaming app. And on the last day of October, she traveled 3,000 miles to Lima, Peru to meet him. She thought that he could be the one. On November 7th, while in the beach city of Huacho, where Villafuerte lived, Blanca spoke to her niece on the phone and told her that the relationship was going well and that she was in love. Then, she went silent. Her niece suspected something was wrong after not being able to get into contact with her. She called for help on Twitter and reached out to Juan Villafuerte, who said that Blanca got bored of him and left to find a plane ticket back to Mexico, as he could not provide the life she wanted. But the truth was much, much darker. On November 10th, Peruvian authorities found a severed finger on the beach of Huacho. Then in the following days, they found a faceless head and then an arm and then a torso with no organs inside of it. They eventually identified Blanca Arellano via her family by the ring on her finger. Juan Villafuerte was arrested on charges of human organs trafficking. Authorities found traces of blood all over his apartment, and he reportedly posted TikTok videos of human organs days after Blanca's disappearance. Have you ever heard of... What the hell type of sick person would do that, man? It's like, you gotta be freaking careful these people freaking online, bro, because you never know their true intentions, man. You do have to freaking meet up, man. You have to do it in a public place or something like that, bro, because, bro, he was a freaking human organs freaking trafficker, bro. You think you're in a relationship, man, but he had some freaking else in his freaking twisted mind, bro. Crazy, man. Oh, it's gotta be weird, man, the people online, bro. Always gotta do your research, bro. You never know, man. You just never know anybody's intentions nowadays, bro. It's impossible. Of the clown motel. 
it's supposedly haunted by the ghosts of clowns. We were dumb enough to spend the night here last night. That was a big mistake. There's a huge cemetery right next to the motel. They say the ghosts walk over from the cemetery to the motel at night. This clown named Charlie was filmed moving by itself on ghost adventures. He moved something of ours on camera. Many of these clowns are said to be possessed by evil spirits. We definitely made a mistake coming here. We rented the three most haunted rooms. And we experienced some very scary paranormal activity. We got all of it on camera too. Follow me here on TikTok to see the scary videos that I recorded in here last night. I don't think I'd ever want to come back here again after what happened to us. Scary clowns. This is why Don't you should fear that. for your life if you buy or sell items on Facebook Marketplace. 56-year-old Denise Williams of Johnstown, Pennsylvania wanted to buy a refrigerator for her boyfriend. She found one listed on Facebook Marketplace. The seller was 26-year-old Joshua Gorgon. Denise went to his apartment alone to check out the fridge but never came out. On Monday, she was reported missing by her family, and police were able to track her using her phone and information from a Facebook account. She was found dead from multiple stab wounds at Joshua's apartment. Joshua was arrested and charged with criminal homicide. When he was interviewed by Cambria County detectives, he admitted to stabbing Williams to death with a kitchen knife following an argument over the cost of the refrigerator. Oh, the freaking cost, man. It was that serious if you can take an iPhone. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, another man, another um thing you have to be aware of. But if you're gonna use that, I always recommend meeting in a freaking public place. Never go back to your own freaking place because of something like that can happen, man. You never know you're gonna get to argument or something like that, and it can just freaking take a turn for the worse, bro. Always meet in a public place, man. I cannot stress that enough. Tell me what you guys think about that case down below. This story stumped researchers. They found a mummified dog in the 1980s inside of a log. They were cutting off a chestnut oak tree, I believe, and they found a dog inside. It's speculated whatever he was chasing went inside the tree. He ran up there and got trapped inside. I find it amazing that nature can preserve a dog like this inside oh. of a tree. Like there's no special embalming or anything like that. But anyways, they named the dog Stucky. Very cruel, I know, but yeah. I already know I'm gonna get a comment saying he was barking up the wrong tree. I already said it, please. But imagine cutting a tree and seeing this. I would have thought this is some sort of werewolf looking at me. And if it wasn't a werewolf, I'd have been terrified anyways because that thing looks so scary. But I truly feel bad for this dog, Stucky. I really wish someone would have found him, but this is a very cool scientific phenomenon that happened. Because he was inside of the tree and the wood kind of solidified everything up and trapped him in there, it protected him from the elements and kind of vacuum sealed him. I think this helped with the mummification of Stucky. And apparently he was so high up, no animals could smell him to eat him. Let me know what you guys think about this story. Did it stump you? Man, the way Stucky looked, boy. It looked like it was down some, like a damn werewolf or another freaking creature, man. It doesn't even look like a dog on first glance. That's freaking crazy, but like I said, if you can treat this a bomb, bro, and preserve it for that long. Nature, man. When you think about it, the things they can do, bro, can get really scary, bro. Tell me down below, man, when you first saw that, did you guys think that was a dog? I thought that was something completely different, man. I would have never even guessed that was a dog, bro. Crazy. This guy is the real Humpty Dumpty, and his story is much darker than you think. 
Deep in the eerie town of Puddlebrook, Kentucky, resided Gilbert Eggman, a man plagued by misfortune. His tale took a sinister turn when he joined the construction crew. Hmm. Perched atop a towering brick wall on his very first day, three co-workers, fueled by malevolence, sent the ladder crashing down. Gilbert's pleas for help fell on deaf ears. Desperate to rescue him, the trio resorted to a crane. But destiny had other plans. The crane, guided by an unseen force, struck Gilbert, sending him hurtling to a grim demise. The town whispered of Gilbert's curse. In the following months, darkness consumed Puddlebrook. One by one, the three construction workers met their untimely ends, each death shrouded in mystery. Mm -hmm. Gilbert's curse, it seemed, had unleashed its wrath upon them, becoming an urban legend in the small town. It's freaking crazy, man. Humpty Dumpty it was based off that mode. Like I said, I'm watching these videos with... But you guys, man, are always expanding my lawless, man. And freaking never ceases to amaze me, bro. Like, how these, like, innocent, like, freaking childhood stories or, you know, songs or something you think have no meaning behind it. You find out the true meaning, man. It's very freaking sinister, bro. I never knew that, bro. Like I said, just expanding my knowledge with you guys, man. But the hell is it? It's a curse that they take out the workers one after one after one, bro. I don't know if that's energy or karma or something bad happened, but. I don't even know how to explain that ball down below. Did you guys know this? Three videos showing alleged skinwalkers. WTF dear. seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what... Wait, wait a second. Now. What the... I think I see a... Imagine if your father was a famous puppet maker and you witnessed his murder. Is those edits or... Are those freaking real, man? The second freaking video, you know, they got freaking moaning, bro. He's just crawling. Like, all sinister. -y. So the way he's moving. his patterns, the way he was moving. Definitely seemed like it was something otherworldly, bro. And that be, it could have been the skinwalker, man. At least that's what it looked like to me. You guys know what to do. Murder when you were a child. Then years later, you get into a terrible car crash and fall into a coma. But when you wake up, you begin acting like a child again and asking for your dead father. The accident has caused severe brain damage, and now you believe you're still a child, even though you're physically an adult. Mm. And this childlike mentality includes believing that your father's puppets were real and could have saved him from being killed. This delusion leads you to kidnap multiple victims and dislocate their bones so they can become human puppets and recreate the night of your father's murder to change the outcome. This is the story of serial killer Adam Rain from season 8, episode 10 of Criminal Minds. I recently started rewatching this show and there's so many disturbing and bizarre stories that I forgot about. So let me know if you want to see more specific episode recommendations from shows like Criminal Minds and follow for more. I don't know about you guys, but my feed today has just been flooded with non-stop memes about Stephen Hawking. It has been only a matter of hours since the documents were released. People are so wrong for this. They say that this was Stephen Hawking when he heard about miners in Epstein Island. I mean, how are people going to say Stephen Hawking as soon as he touched down on Epstein Island and then play that? Or that this was Stephen Hawking when he was close to nutting? Disgraceful. It only gets worse. Stephen Hawking on his way to the island. Once he lands, when his carer wasn't watching, when Epstein gave him the two for one kid special, and hands down the most outrageous one was this. All those freaking memes and stuff happened, man. Like I said, bro. 
And they said his freaking name was on a freaking uh, a so-called list, man. I don't think that the freaking official list hasn't even been freaking revealed yet, but people say he's on it, man. I just know the day, man, when that freaking, when that list drops, bro, it's going to be freaking blowing up, bro. It's definitely going to be some videos and stuff we're going to, I guess, have to check out when that day happens, man. That's going to be freaking crazy, dude, bro. Tell me you guys what you guys think about that freaking list, bro. I really want to see you guys' thoughts on that. Hmm. Butler, who ran the TikTok account called Took Too Much. Yesterday morning, January 4th, 2024, he posted this chilling video. Right after it was uploaded at 7.37 a.m., he left the bathroom and opened fire inside Perry High School and Middle School located in Iowa, injuring five and taking the life of a sixth grader. Police were immediately notified, and upon arrival at the school, he took his own life. Not even a full day after the attack, his TikTok account was taken down. The type of content he posted was interesting. It is speculated the video he posted minutes before his attack had his pew pew in his blue bag, thus causing TikTok to immediately ban his account. It is only been four days into the new year and this stuff is already happening. Let me know your thoughts. This is by far one of the worst. So that the world can be a freaking truly evil freaking place, man. Like I said, we just got into the freaking new year, bro, and some evil crap like that is already happening, bro. They need to freaking fix our laws or something, man. So stuff like this sh it should never happen again, bro. Tell me what you guys think down below. It's, that's just a sad case. The way somebody has ever died, and whatever you do, don't look up the picture. This was 35-year-old Jill Greninger, and she was employed at Economy Locker Storage Company that was in Muncie Township, Pennsylvania. Hmm. And inside of this factory, they had a bunch of industrial-sized meat grinders. Oh, man. The meat grinder that was involved in this story, I don't know exactly what style it was, but every single picture I pull up has this type of design. On April 22nd, 2019, Jill Greninger was inside of the factory hard at work. And what unfolded next, nobody is 100% sure about. There weren't any cameras that saw it happen, and there weren't any human witnesses that saw it happen. Jill was on top of a rolling ladder above one of the meat grinders, and they either speculate that a piece of her clothing got caught in the blades, mm. or she simply just slipped and fell into it. Regardless of how it happened, Jill fell into the meat grinder. She would fall headfirst into a bladed system like this. Another employee inside of the building heard some sort of horrific sounds coming from one of the machines. Oh. The co-worker then went over and noticed that Jill fell into the meat grinder. Since Jill fell into the meat grinder head first, the coroner believes that she hopefully died almost instantly. The head portion of Jill's body was basically gone. After this incident, the factory was investigated, and they found 11 serious violations inside that factory. And because of these violations, the company was fined $49,000. This death is just so awful because can you imagine how terrifying those first few seconds were for Jill when she fell into the meat grinder? I also find it weird how the fine was so low, especially when these safety issues resulted in a death. But nonetheless, this death is absolutely awful, and may Jill Greninger rest in peace. This is why it's freaking crazy, bro. The things people would do, man, just to freaking like shave off some money to save for their business, bro. Freaking result in that horrible death, man. But the head was on the five forty-nine thousand. I thought they were said there was gonna be five millions, and they was gonna be freaking shut down. I'm like. 49k, they, that price should have been way higher, bro. Or they should have shut down the factory, man. Forever, bro, for good. Damn, what the hell is that? That was head first, bro? Imagine the freaking co worker walking in on that, man. Scarf of life, bro. Crazy. These old cathedrals freak me out. So in Loudon, France, in the 1600s, there was this cathedral. And one day, all of the nuns that worked there were complaining about having the same nightmare. All of them were seeing this shadowy figure that they referred to as the cloth man. He would appear angelic at first, but then would quickly turn demonic. This was terrifying the nuns, but it started getting so much worse. See, after these nightmares started happening, the nuns started showing symptoms of demonic possession. Mass hysteria broke out, and some of the nuns were able to bend over backwards so their shoulders were touching their ankles. It was also said that others were caught levitating. But these nuns thought they knew who was doing this to them. 
the head priest at this cathedral was a man by the name of Father Grandier, and mm. he was accused of practicing black magic. He was eventually burned at the stake, but they were not able to exorcise the demons out of the nuns. And in fact, many of the men who tried to perform exorcisms suffered horrible fates, even claiming that Grandier's ghost was tormenting them from beyond the grave. Scary things you never knew. The last one is crazy. Would you keep this dog if it was your pet? I'm sorry, man. You see the way he's looking at it? Him? At the owner? I don't think so. Would you rather spend one night in this bathroom or kiss the second person who appears when you click share and then more? This man found something scary in his refrigerator. Okay, so I just saw something moving in my refrigerator that shouldn't be all in my nervous. So it's moving right there. I see it. I see it. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I'm sorry. It's scary how only 1% of people can do this. None of you can spell your name one word at a time in the comments below without being interrupted. First person to do it wins. Before we get to the last scary thing, mm. please support this page by clicking the follow button for more interesting posts every day. Can someone explain to me what this is? Yeah, I have a new It took just two oh, days for Mickey Mouse to be made into a horror movie and a horror game. And we've just got the first look at both trailers. Now, the reason this is even possible is because US copyright law says that the rights to a character can only be held for 95 years. And as of January the 1st, mm. anyone can now use Disney's earliest Mickey and Minnie Mouse characters without permission or cost. Because of this, we are now getting a horror movie called Mickey's Mousetrap, which essentially sees my boy Mick hunting down a bunch of teenagers at an amusement park. They say they expected to come out as soon as March, just two months away, indicating they had written, cast, shot, edited, and mostly finished the entire film just waiting for the copyright to live. Now the horror game is called Infestation Origins, where in the year 1988, what was thought to be an outbreak of rodents morphed into something far more sinister. The release date of the game is before GTA 6. So the question is, are you a fan of people horrifying Mickey Mouse or not? A missing North Carolina... It's freaking crazy, bro. As soon as they figured they figured copyright drop, man, people was they was waiting for man, they was on it, man. They had a movie and game ready, bro. That's freaking crazy. This just shows man how people, man, wait for something to make something scary like that, bro. Crazy. I can't believe they was even ready prepared like that. Like, how did they know that the, that they was even gonna drop the copyright, man? That's the real question we need to be asking teenager was just found hidden under a trap door in this man's home in a completely different state and what he has to say about it is horrifying she hid on her own free will she was actually in the bed when the officers first come in there her grandma kicked her out um she didn't appear to be that age you know, she had all kinds of piercing in december a 16 year old girl left her grandparents home in north carolina after a fight and disappeared she was officially reported missing on december 6th and her grandparents feared the worst but what they didn't know was that three weeks prior to her disappearance a 34 year old man named zachary jones found the girl online and started talking to her and he actually lured her from her home after the fight with her grandparents zachary then drove the girl all the way back to his home in lincoln county kentucky where he repeatedly sexually assaulted her and gave her drugs. Fast forward to Christmas Day. Zachary's mom called 911 to report a domestic violence incident between Zachary and who she thought was his girlfriend. And when police arrived at the home, he said the girl was not there. He was quickly cuffed and placed in the back of a cop car after mm -hmm. authorities found drugs in the home. And when they went back inside to search for the girl, they found something incredibly disturbing. Locked inside of a trap door hidden under a rug in Zachary's bedroom was a young girl who authorities say appeared very high. After investigating, the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office realized that the young girl was reported missing nearly a month prior out of North Carolina. According to the girl, whose name has not been released, she said that Zachary initially told her that he was 19 online, but when she met up with him in North Carolina, he looked much older. It was there that he said he was 25, and it wasn't until they got all the way back to his home that she found out that he was actually 34. The girl said that Zachary was always armed with a gun and that he forced her to tell his family that she was 18. He also threatened to kill her many times and proceeded to sexually assault her and give her drugs. Sometimes 
sometimes even strangling her during the assaults. When the girl was rescued, Zachary denied choking her and said that she hid in the trap door on her own free will, but the girl had very visible marks on her neck that proved otherwise. The victim also said that on their drive back to his house, they were pulled over by a cop, and Zachary told her that he would shoot the officer if they were asked to get out of the car. Zachary was arrested and is being held at the Pulaski County Jail, while the girl was taken to the hospital for treatment and was reunited with her grandparents. In an interview from jail, Zachary admitted to all of it, but said that she told him that she was 18. He said that she didn't look to be 16 as she had all sorts of piercings and that he was helping her after her grandparents kicked her out, which was not true. Zachary is facing 30 different charges in just Kentucky, but he's also Ooh. facing more charges in North Carolina as well. He's being held without bond and judging by his lack of remorse, I truly hope that he never gets out because this story is absolutely terrifying. As people say, man, he still wasn't trying to forget to take accountability at the end. And all and it all crumbled, bro. Damn, if he can he had a trap though, bro, and if he can Keenan had a founder like that, man. People, bro. They will always do the unthinkable, man. That's just insane, bro. YouTube, that's it, man, for this video for you guys today, man. Like I said, tell me in the comment section down below, guys. What do you guys think about uh, calling us the Seekers, bro? Like I said, that's the name I came up with, man. I'm open to if you get any suggestions. That's just the first one I came up with. It's not permanent yet, man, but if you guys like it, we can stick with it. Um, like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, so we can get into this algorithm, man. Um, guys, gonna catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace, YouTube.